Here's a real nice looking General Electric radio, clock radio from 1981, the 4885. And it's nice looking, but it doesn't work. And I've attempted some repairs that have failed, which I'll show you today. I have a lot of equipment I show on my channel that's old, and usually when I show it, it works. But I get my fair share of things that I cannot get working at all. And I keep them all in a room, and I hear them laughing at me at night, but this is going to be one of those. But we see a lot of the insides, and I get a little bit of it to work, so you'll be able to see that. But the 4885, had I, I got this from Goodwill, and if I had been smart and had looked at all of the other descriptions and things of other ones for sale on eBay and stuff, I would notice none of them seem to work because of the keypad is, doesn't work, and my keypad did not work. And I took it apart to find out why, and it's pretty much a fail. But there's some interesting stuff going on. Um, and if anyone sees the inside of this and sees what you're going to be getting into if you get one, this will give you a little bit of heads up of what to expect on the inside of the radio. Uh, beautiful 1981 wood grain here. You have tone control, volume control, your alarms one and two you can wake to wake to them music alarm or both or whatever and you have a snooze button I think it gives you nine minutes and then your display switches between the two wake things here the time setting radio setting and uh, sleep mode so Turning it over, you've got some instructions here for setting various things, how to do it, it's pretty simple. You have a battery spot for two 9 volt batteries, that's kind of odd. You have a date code 1111 which somewhere in there is going to be 1981 I think maybe it's the second one from the left is the way those GE date codes work from back in the day and down here you have your uh, power failure tone on or off you have another connection for another antenna should you choose to put one in there's three screws here you're going to need to take out to uh, get the top off. You have an earphone button there. There's three more screws at the top you're going to need to take off uh, to get the top off. And also when you want to take it apart you want to remember to pull all your little slider caps off. There's five of those. Because if you don't and you pull the top off it pulls them off for you as it comes off and throws them all over the garage. Uh, you can probably guess how I found that out. You have your keypad, FM, AM, up and down buttons, numerical, a PM button, enter, clear, off, and um, store and recall stations, and two LED lights for radio, and that one must be clock. Or no, that's AM, excuse me. Um, So let's uh, turn it on and see what we get. All right, plugged in, you have a nice blue vacuum fluorescent display. You'll notice the selector switch is on sleep. So it's going to uh, count down from some sleep number you've entered. Our two wake alarms are shut off. But there's nothing there. Now it's on radio, and the radio is off. So if you allegedly, according to the instructions, want to turn it on, you'd press FM. That doesn't work. Get off the radio. Time, 12.01, let's try and set it. And 
carpenter. See, I get extra numbers that come up, and they shouldn't come up, but they do. I'm not going to go to the wake and the alarms. I'm going to go down to radio off, press in, FM, uh, and yet a 5 comes up. That's really no good for nothing. Five. Oops, I didn't touch anything, and it goes to 1555, uh, which is not going to be good for anything, is it? Try and press off. Nope. AM doesn't change anything. That AM button is just frozen. Can't go up and down. Let's go back to FM. <laughs> static down. There's nothing that comes up really. And I can't get the off button to work. So I have to... Fives just seem to keep coming up. Wherever that number is on a radio or the clock, that's what I get. three on the time can you set it nope without touching anything it goes once again to 1555 whatever that is you'll see inside when I take this apart the problem with some of these connections it's just a mess Let's take a look at it. Here's the inside. I'm trying to free up the keypad there. It's all frozen. I can't get any buttons to press. Can't set a time or turn on the radio or anything. It's frozen solid here. Looks like that's a 1980 date code. 26th week on the capacitor there. That would make sense if the date code on this is in 1981. Doesn't seem to be a way to get that silver plate off. Some more of the componentry hiding under it. All right, well taking the whole thing apart seems to me the problem is the little plastic pushers there and all the buttons don't go through that old decayed fabric and depress the um, contacts there Some of these buttons just aren't doing anything. But at least I have an idea what the problem is now. Whether I'll be able to fix it or not, I don't know. Is not the way to do it, but... Well, I can get a couple of stations with a lot of hum. Figuring out which one of these is up on, on FM. I get no AM stations, and I can scroll through the stations pressing this up.
but I really don't get anything. Just lots of hum. And uh, trying to press this one and get that to switch to AM. I can also turn it off if I'm persistent enough. At least I used, there we go, now we're off. So this thing is a mess. I don't know if this old 1981 General Electric is worth attempting anymore. And I still have the problem of ruined old stuff that's keeping the little plastic prongs from depressing those. I sprayed a lot of contact cleaner on those, trying to clean them off, but... Well, I might still keep working on it. I don't have much better to do today. Well, I'm fiddling with it a little. Putting it on radio, I can get 88.1, uh, which is not really in station, and of course it's very staticky. But I can't do anything else, and it just presses off, and none of the numeric things work. Except sometimes a 5 works, as you can tell from all of these things. But nothing really, really works here. Well, that's been the 1981 General Electric 4885, uh, not working right. Sleep for the radio, uh, just will not go anywhere or really do anything. And sometimes it does unexpected things with the digit 5, but I can't set any clocks or anything. So if you have any suggestions or if you get one of these, hopefully looking at the inside has shown you what to expect with all of those contacts. And I sprayed those contacts with spray cleaner and uh, erased them with a pencil eraser and some things I didn't show in the video. But other than that, I really don't know what to do or how else to fix this. And it's a shame because it's really a beautiful little radio. I really like the overall aesthetic of it. But... Hope you got something out of it. You can see one of my many failures. Thanks for watching. Bye.